I, I don't, I had not to dodge the question, Matt. I had no idea. <laughs> right? Like, he, we know they're inexperienced all over the place. And we, the one game we saw from Haynes Keene, two touchdowns and three picks against Kent State. I mean, I, I don't know what to make of it, right? Like, he had a good offensive line last year. He played in one game, and it wasn't great. Um, he has a, an offensive line that has taken a step back from an experience standpoint, but still has a good running game. So, I, and, and, and we know he can move the football on the ground, but can he do it with, you know, coming off the injury? We don't know. So that's the biggest thing. It, you know, Texas A&M is getting all the love as the primary threat against Alabama and the SEC West. If you're going to beat Alabama consistently or win the West, in, in place of Alabama, you need to have an elite quarterback. Sure, in a one-off, A&M last year is a perfect example, you can beat Alabama. But do we trust Haynes King for an entire season? Do, do we think he can be comparable to Bryce Young? Do we think he can be comparable to, you know, Stetson Bennett? I, I don't because we hadn't seen it yet. So until he goes out and, and shows what his ceiling is, I, I just can't trust him.